tremendous display of force, similar to detonating over 100 pounds of TNT. When we think about white sharks breaching, we often associate that with them catching seals. They're catching other types of surface prey. But Michelle has witnessed clues within white shark breaching that lead her to believe there is more to this behavior than meets the eye. In the field, we often see that white sharks will breach when there are no prey present at all. Why? Why do they do it? Without the reward of a meal, propelling a ton and a half of muscle out of the ocean at 40 miles per hour is a massive caloric expense. This is an incredible amount of energy for them to expel in order to get their bodies out of the water, sometimes 10 feet out of the water. There has to be a good reason why they would spend that much energy in order to make that type of splash and do that type of behavior. Could they be communicating between each other in some way to indicate that they're around, like a presence absence thing? Maybe. Could they be showing off their fitness and displaying for potential mates around them? These animals are sophisticated. They are social. They make bonds. And I think they communicate to each other. Before coming to South Africa, Michelle was in Dominica, studying the ocean's largest tooth predator, the sperm whale. Like sharks, whales are one of the very few marine animals that breach the surface. However, they don't breach to hunt. They breach to send long distance signals to other whales. We do know a lot about how whales make social bonds and how they communicate with each other. White sharks and sperm whales both exhibit massive breaches that have no known predatory purpose. And just like sperm whales, white sharks propel themselves out of the water before landing as flat as possible to maximize their surface impact. And if I can understand more about how sperm whales might be using breaching as a way to communicate, I can take that framework and test this hypothesis with white sharks. We can then understand more about why white sharks might be breaching in their waters. When we played the sound of the breach audio signal underneath the water for the whales, we think that the whales are definitely responding in some way to this sound. Although it's hard to tell exactly what the behavior means. So we're gonna take what we've learned here and apply that now to South African white sharks in Mossel Bay, one of their hotspot areas in the entire world. Great white sharks migrate to Mossel Bay every spring to mate and to feed. And Michelle believes they may employ breaching to accomplish both. I've always been curious about whether this is a way that large white sharks are also communicating to potential mates their fitness and how strong that they are. Michelle will use a state-of-the-art submersible speaker. Something a bit lighter, no? Come on, Enrico, you can do it. They can reproduce the breaching audio at a level of over 115 decibels, identical to that of a live breach. All right, you man the sounds. Yeah. I'll man the bait line. We'll get some sharks close by, play the sounds, see how they react to them. As Michelle baits the water, to lure in the sharks. Enrico waits at the speaker controls, ready to play the recorded Great White Breach. Uh, Shut close on the bait here, Enrico. Okay. Coming in quick, coming in quick, coming in quick, 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 quick. Can I play? No. Woo! Now that was something. <laughs> but definitely that was a reaction. Woo, that was a reaction. He didn't so. like it at all. <laughs> the audio of the 14-foot shark breach clearly agitates the smaller white sharks. 
that was really cool because the shark came at the bait like they normally would, like he was giving it a try, and then veered off. And now that, that shark, the bait is in the water, and that shark is just making a circle like 20 feet away from us. Michelle, I really think now it's the time for you to get into the cage and see how they react Check from it out. under the water. I 100% agree. I'm going to get suited up right now. play the breaching sound. Okay, let's go with the shark breach noise and see what we see. Okay, we're gonna play now. Wow, that's super loud. That sound's gotta be traveling far. The sound of the breach also captures the attention of nearby sharks, drawing them closer. They don't seem pleased with what they hear. Wow, did you see it? This one seems to be spooked by that. Almost a little bit nervous. Wow, this was a massive change in direction. It is bolted off. The white sharks retreat from the sound. Perhaps a sign they interpret it is that of a larger shark staking its territory. Coming and play. Whoa, that's a big one. What do you see down there? Enrico, I think we have a huge female coming in. The sound of a breaching sperm whale attracts a 17-foot female. Shark coming in. From your right, from your right. Oh, wow, she's going nuts. Michelle! Whoa, did you see that? This seems to be a bit more interested. She is all over this whale sound. You need to come out. 